Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hello everyone, my name is Sebastian and welcome back to a brand new video on the Source Squad channel. This is episode 3 of the Feud.js tutorial series. So in this tutorial I'm going to go into something a little bit more complicated. It's not too complicated, but it is uh, what Vue actually does really well and it's what you should be using Vue for. And that is splitting up your uh, website into different components. And Vue does this really well by providing a lot of tools that you can use. So in this tutorial I'll be making a grocery list which contains a couple of to-do items which are basically uh, things that somebody has to buy in the store. So to get started we want to make uh, a component that will hold information for our to-do list. And to do that we can say view dot component and we can provide it with a name in this case I want to name it to do item and then we add a uh, object and what we can do inside of this is we can say template template and then we can put a list item inside of this with this is a to do item and we can close the list item and this is basically HTML that will be placed for the to-do item uh, as the template. So what we can do now is we can say to-do item inside of here. And when we go to our web page and we reload, we'll see, hey, this is a to-do item. And that is because uh, it replaces this basically with what we put over here. I want to make this an ordered list so we can see numbering and it's a little bit easier to see if I can get it working. All right. So if we go here, we can see number one is this is a to do item. Now, if we add more, it will still, it will all be this is a to do item because we don't provide anything else. We only have a template with this is a to do item. So what we can do is we can say this component has a prop and that prop is basically a variable that that component has. So we do that by saying prop and we give an array of prop names. In this case, we only want a to do. And then we can replace this string with uh, a curly braces and then to do dot text. And this basically uh, says that there, this component should have a prop to do. And the template is to do dot text, which gets text out of the to do object. Supposing to do is an object. So what we can do is we can say uh, we have data and the data holds a grocery list object or array, I mean, and that array is filled with objects. And each object needs a ID and text. And we need to add an ID because uh, components evolve around IDs and everything needs to have its own ID. And I'll be going into that depth about it later on in the tutorials. But for now, we can just add a simple ID starting at zero and then going up. So I want to buy X, I want to buy cheese, and I need some bread. So we have a basic grocery list which holds objects with an ID and text. And how do we get that inside of this list? So I'm going to take this out and I'm going to put a couple of pro uh, attributes on this to do item. So what I want to do is V4, which is basically a for loop through uh, uh, something 
for each item in the grocery list, which will uh, give us item for every item inside of this. So this will be item, this will be item, and this will be item. So a standard for loop. And what we do then is we say v bind semicolon, and then the name of uh, a property that the to do item has. So in this case, to do item has a prop to do. So we can say to do equals item. And this will take the item that we loop through and we'll put it inside of the to do item uh, props, which we then access in the template. And finally, we need to add a key, which is going to be the item ID. And this uh, is basically already everything we need. So if we go to the page, it won't work. All right, so I've noticed I made a typo here. This needs to be props, not prop. So if you uh, typed prop, you need to change it to props because props is an array and it will be one or more. So we have to put props, the S, don't forget it. So basically for uh, each item in the grocery list, we bind uh, item to the components and we bind the item ID to the component key. And then when we go to the home page, we can see we get one egg, two cheese, three bread, which is what we have here, egg, cheese, and bread. So we basically have a list of to-do items. Each item has its own uh, item uh, assigned to it, and it will render that item. So what we can do now is we can type in console app.groceryList.push and I'm going to make ID3 text potatoes. When we do that, we will immediately see that that item gets added to the list. And that is because a view automatically updates whatever we add, which is really useful. So we don't have to do a lot of work to get this working because Vue handles a lot of stuff for us. This is a basic example of how Vue uh, would be used for different components. And on their webpage, they have an example of how a real application would look like. And this is an idea of an application. So you have the div uh, app and the app has a app nav app view and the app view has a sidebar and the content and uh, that's basically how the different components are built up so you have a nav bar for instance this part and then the view component which is this entire part of the site and then we have a sidebar right here and we have the content right here and each part has its own information that you can access that you can change and it won't affect the rest of the layout so it's really easy to manage that code and change things while keeping it still intact so that is going to be it for this tutorial if you enjoyed it be sure to drop a like and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode